The dairy store has been here since about 1972. Uh, before that and shortly after, uh, the creamery supplied the whole campus with milk and ice cream and other dairy products as well. My name is Chuck Beneke. I'm, I'm an associate professor in the School of Nutrition and Food Sciences. In the summer, we're usually making ice cream at least once a week. We probably make 30 or 40 different flavors all together. The most popular flavors are chocolate and vanilla. The Tiger Bite flavor came about, I guess, in the mid-70s. Um, the, the Dairy Science Club, they came up with some new flavors. Originally, that flavor was made with uh, blackberries instead of blueberries. And I'm not sure exactly when it changed from the blackberry to the blueberry. Um, I would guess it'd be sometime in the late 70s, early 80s that, that, they made that, that they made that change. But the students developed or have developed in the past a lot of the flavors uh, that we have in the store. Our milk comes from our Southeast Research Station in Franklinton, Louisiana. Since the, the station is about two hours one way, typically we, we spend about a day going to get the milk. The following day we bake it into ice cream mix. A typical mix will be about 120 gallons of milk. The next thing that goes in is the non-fat dry milk powder. And for this batch, it's going to be right around 81 pounds of non-fat dry milk powder. Our typical mix will be about 270 pounds of cane sugar. The last ingredient that we add is our cream. And for this batch, we'll be adding about 55 gallons of heavy cream. And we add the cream last because it tends to foam under agitation, so we put it in last to kind of minimize that effect before it goes into the pasteurizer. Our typical mix, those get blended together in a processing tank. They get homogenized and pasteurized. Then they go into a refrigerated storage tank to get ready to make ice cream out of it the following day. Second day, we uh, will take that 200 gallons of ice cream mix We'll run it through a continuous ice cream freezer and we'll make the different, uh, the different flavors that we have in the store. Uh, we've been in the process for the past two years uh, to develop a new dairy processing facility. Life Sciences is taking over this, uh, this spot and building a Life Sciences Annex. The base, the bottom part of that annex is going to house a new dairy store. So we're going to be in the same spot, but we're going to look a whole lot different come 2022. Come and see us at the LSU Dairy Store. <laughs>